Hello YouTube! Today we're going to do a distance test video. We're going to use the BridgeCom BCR40DU GMRS two-way radio repeater. We're going to be using that with uh, with the Redivis RT97S GMRS two-way radio repeater. Now if you're new to my channel or new to this video, I'm going to explain the setup here. We're going to be using the same antenna, which is the Redivis uh, M04, which is the high gain 6 dB antenna. We'll be using LMR400 for cable. I get about 1.5 SWR on that antenna. As you can see today, uh, it's a clear day. I'm in Wisconsin. The trees are full of leaves. Um, also, I have to mention this repeater setup here is not in a very good location. This setup is in a valley in a hole which makes it great for testing repeaters and antennas. But um, obviously, for any type of repeater, the antenna height is king. So the higher you go, don't matter what brand name of repeater, the better off you're going to be. So let's go inside and show you the setup. I'll be right back. Okay, here is the setup. Um, we're going to be doing this. I do have a simplex repeater. I'll explain that in a moment. First off, the we have the bridge com well, that's the first one we'll do in the test that is hooked up i'm going to go to a location that's about 3.9 miles away as the crow flies that location is a bolt landing so you're, i'm kind of down in a, in a ditch so to speak so that's a good spot to go to test these um both repeaters do six watts both repeaters are set to squelch level five I, the reason being it uh, for six watts is because that's what the red of us puts out on the output of the antenna. So I matched it with the BridgeCom. If you're wondering what setting it is for your BridgeCom, it's going to be about 160 under the power setting. Now, obviously, there's difference in repeaters. The BridgeCom can do up to 35 watts. It has built-in repeater ID. Um, it's got really good programming software, works really well. Uh, so there is one of the difference there. Now, the price of the uh, BridgeCom with the programming cable at the time of making this video is $2,699.99. I don't know if BridgeCom's got free shipping or not. I didn't check that. Now, the price of the Redivis with uh if you buy them direct from them and you use the coupon i'll post the coupon link down below in the description uh and they have free shipping with the programming cable after the discount would be 279 dollars and 99 cents now i also like to mention i do have available for the redivis which also would be the the, the redivis rt97s or the midland mxr10 an interface board that plugs into the side that lets you get zello date and time weather announcements and repeater id using a laptop mini pc desktop raspberry pi i'm also working on an interface board for the bridgecom i'll post those links down below in the description below i uh, just want to mention that so we're going to uh another thing too i got to mention too before i forget now thanks also mark for letting me borrow this repeater if it wasn't for mark this video would not be possible but mark's frequency that he uses is 462.675 i'm using 462.625 so the duplexer in mark's in the bridge com is tuned to mark's frequency that little bit of difference will i see that much difference i don't believe so maybe you'd see it on an analyzer but i'm just being up front and telling you that is a little bit of a difference my repeater is more tuned to uh the 462.625 frequency now you're probably wondering why don't you just make a match well then i'd have to retune my repeater with the duplexer so either one either one of them is going to have to be retuned and I'm not, it's not for that much difference i don't think it's worth it so i just want to point that out there'll both be six watts output and squelch over five so let me show you the vehicle setup and i'll be right back 
And actually, before I go to the vehicle, I just remembered I am going to be using a simplex repeater, which is going to be right over here. If you guys have been following my YouTube channel, I use this. This this is a handheld hooked up to a computer that records and plays back all activity over the airwaves. That's This is going to be programmed to the repeater uh, frequencies. And also, we'll be using a S meter in the car. So we'll get an S meter reading and an audio quality type check uh, sound, how it sounds. Uh, because of the simplex. So now let's go out to the car and let me show you that real quick. Okay, I'm going to be using my adjustable J pole antenna. I've done some videos on that. Works very well. Uh, SWR is about a 1.4, just so that you guys know. Uh, that's the antenna we're going to be using. And let me show you inside the car here quickly. Okay, and the setup in the car. It's going to be the Redivis RT95 that has the S meter. I'll put the, the phone close to the uh, front of the radio once I you know, get ready to uh, show you the uh, S uh, reading on the radio at, when we come to that time. So, and it does about 20 watts. The car will be running. Uh, the the uh, RT95 also has a voltmeter on it, so you can, you'll see the voltage running. The car will be running. It does about 20 watts. So now, let's go out to the location, which is, like I said, 3.9 miles away as the crow flies. Bridgecom repeater up first. I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, we are back here at the location. I'm at the boat landing. You can kind of see the vehicles up there. The road's higher up. I'm kind of down in a, in a ditch, so to speak. Um, the direction of the antenna, the car is facing... The direction of the antenna or the repeater which is that way um, I'm going to do a couple tests here uh, you remember I had the simplex repeater running so it will record and play back we're going to hear how it sounds and I'm going to move the camera up closer to the uh, radio here so you can see the S readings um, so that's when this is the Bridgecom repeater is up first I'm going to try to park the car in the same spot for uh, both tests here. So let's go ahead and get this close to the radio here. Bear with me. So hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll put the microphone close to the radio here. You can see the car is running. The voltage is showing. Uh, this does have the S meter, which is nice. So let's, uh, I'll take the headset off and put the microphone by me or by the radio so that you can hear it. Radio check. This is the Bridgecom repeater. Test one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Radio check. This is the Bridgecom repeater. Test one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Radio check. This is the Bridgecom repeater. One, two, three. One, two, three. Radio check. This is the Bridgecom repeater. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. There you have it. Um, looks like about a one, one and a half, two. Uh, you heard the sound. You saw the S reading. Let's go back and switch out to the Redivis repeater. I'll be right back. All right. Next up is the Redivis RT97S. And also, by the way, this was not plugged in. The Redivis was not plugged into power when I did the Bridgecom test, just so that people don't think there was some type of interference. I also unplugged the power cord from the back of the Bridgecom. That's not plugged in. Uh, but I do have, obviously, the cable, the, my antenna cables on the Redivis. Uh, so that's the next one up. I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to go to the exact same spot. And we're going to test the Redivis RT97S repeater. I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Uh, it's the same location as you can tell. 
I'm going to put the uh, phone here close to the radio. I'm going to get the microphone by there. This is the Redivis RT97S. Uh, same same spot, which is going to be the 3.9 miles away as the crow flies. Uh, both repeaters are set to the same wattage. Both repeaters are set to the same squelch level. Let's see what we got with the Redivis. Let me adjust this here so we can get you guys to get here get you so you can see it here hopefully you can see that I'm trying to get it so the sun ain't glaring too much either but it's that time of day let's see how that looks well if I can get it better okay maybe there bear with me I apologize Like I said, this will be the Redivis repeater. There we go. Okay, now I'll put the microphone by the radio. Let's do a test and see how she does. Radio check, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Check one two three four one two three four. This is a radio check. Radio check one two three four one two three four. This is a radio check. Radio check radio check one two three four one two three four. Redivis RT ninety seven S radio check. Okay, well, I, I had to do it a few times there because uh, I was getting a few times, I was getting a little more S reading. Um, I think the audio wasn't as loud as the bridge comm, so I think the bridge comm did have a little bit more uh to it but man i this <laughs> this run of this repeater I, i'm gonna you know it's holding its own i mean it's not bad at all um so you know again there is the uh proof of it i you know if anyone out there want to uh you know make a comment am i i believe i have everything matched as best i can now, obviously, this is not in a lab type setting, but I think I have everything matched up pretty decently for this type of test. And again, if you have a bridge comm, do the same test. Uh, you know, 160 is about the power level setting. Um, of course, check it with a meter because even though the, the number should be fairly close to your bridge comm, but just double check it with a wattage meter, and that's about six watts output. So there you have it. I'm going to post a coupon code for that Redivis uh, down below so you can save $30 if you get it from the Redivis Direct. Any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.